Sonic Temple continues with the following bout scheduled for one fall at a 20-minute time limit. Introducing first, please from Robinsdale, Minnesota, weighing 100. Once again, a contrast of styles here right in the middle of our card at Tidings of Destruction. Blake Chadwick joined alongside Brandon Matheny Esquire. Final event of the year on the Virginia Championship Wrestling calendar here at Tidings of Destruction. Brandon Scott, the former three-time Virginia Heavyweight Champion, taking on one of the top up-and-coming stars, not just here in the southeastern part of Virginia, but the entire United States, one of the kind of undiscovered stars, the Mushmaster Tim Spriggs. Absolutely, though, I do think that the as the bell officially sounds, we are indeed underway. Our senior official, Ron Mills, uh, signed to this contest. There should be a fascinating clash of styles, though I do think Ron Mills should check to make sure that Brandon Scott is fighting with a clear head. I'm worried he may have had some sort of injury with that hat he was wearing to the ring. A very strange choice. For someone who has exuded excellence throughout his career, you would think he would not wear something so mediocre. But nonetheless, Brandon Scott here in the ring, trying to get the job done against the Bushmaster, Tim Springs. A man who has won Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu World Championships in the United States and Europe. He's certainly one of the top BJJ specialists. And that's just not saying it, Brandon. He backs up, not just in the ring, but any time he's rolling around on the mat. Quick question for you, Blake. Is this a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu match? This is pro wrestling. It's a professional wrestling match. Which, which man in this ring has been a professional wrestling champion in VCW and all over the country? Your point indeed is made. Who, there is some who validity. Is it? Who it is, is it? Mr. Excellence, Brandon Scott. Thank you. There's, of course, some validity there as he's looking to call a timeout right now. There are no timeouts in professional wrestling, let alone BJJ. He's being very strategic. He's playing mind games. Tim Spriggs has never fought someone like Brandon Scott. He's always getting in there with. He's a tremendous talent, an incredible Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. As you said, he backs it up. But this is a very different world, and Brandon Scott is just on a whole other level.
He's defeated judo Olympian medalists, NCAA national champions. He's all made them tap out. What could he do with a professional wrestling show? Well, Brandon Scott has defeated Billy Gunn and Gangrel. So, I mean, it's, it's even, basically. Those are certainly excellent points. No Is pun there, intended Mr. right excellent there. Points. As he goes for the O'Connor roll, Tim Spriggs puts on the brakes, and Brandon, is, Brandon Scott there, the mush master hitting him right in the bush, and a beautiful belly-to-back takedown. No points awarded here, but the wrestling on display by the BJJ specialist. Now, I will say, this is something Brandon Scott cannot afford to do. If he gets in a grappling match, you know, exchanging holes with, with, with Tim Spriggs, that's always going to be poorly for Brandon Scott. He needs to stick and move, do what he does best, which is professional wrestling. That's going to be very difficult for Spriggs to overcome and be able to transition and get past that precipice of getting to Brandon Scott right here. Nice waist lock takedown, trying to wear down the former three-time Virginia heavyweight champion. Was speaking to Spriggs earlier on today, and he said he's looking to put him in an arm submission, a possible leg submission, wants to get Brandon Scott to tap out. As you see here with the Northern Light Suplex, he holds the bridge, but Scott able to kick out. But ultimately, he would like to get Scott to tap out, but if he cannot, he wants to slam him down until it has been enough and we can have a possible TKO. That would, I believe, be a first here in DCW. I don't know if we've ever had that before. The proverbial referee stoppage is Brandon Scott calling timeout yet again, but we know how that's gonna go. I have to say, not great strategy by Brandon Scott there, so I don't see very often. Tim Spriggs ran to the corner, missed, hit his knee on the top turnbuckle, and a really open chance for Brandon Scott to capitalize. Oh, Spriggs here has Scott in a very dangerous spot right that's on the apron. As Scott gets behind him here, and heads up move by Mr. Excellence, knocking Spriggs off the apron. Scott trying to keep the momentum rolling. And the baseball slide sends Spriggs right to the guardrail. See, Brandon Scott is just so smart. He's always got his head on a swivel, always looking for things to do. I'll admit, he's had a little bit of a rough year. He, he's lost some matches. He lost to Alex Devon, who was his prize to everyone. But look, if he can just run the table from here, he's got a real shot at getting back a championship contention. And Scott doing an excellent job, again, no pun intended, trying to slow this bout down a little bit and bring it more to the professional wrestling side than the grappling and BJJ side. He is, though, I, I'm intrigued by this rear chin lock he's got. I feel like it's not going to end well. I think Spring probably knows a counter to it. I appreciate Brandon trying to show his skill here, but perhaps in other areas would be more beneficial. Certainly not a grappling bout. That's not the type of match Brandon Scott would like to lull Tim Spriggs into. And Spriggs with that Muay Thai-like knee right to the midsection. And that shot across the top of his back, that's going to make your arms, your neck go, go kind of pins and needles. A very smart move by the, by the BJJ specialist there. And Spriggs, Irish whip reversal here. Scott tries to charge in. And Brandon Scott looking to chop Spriggs down right off of the, the ring apron, rather the turnbuckle. And the Mushmaster goes down. Mr. Excellence with an opportunity here and only gets two. Brandon Scott proving why he truly is Mr. Excellence, the best in the business, the best ever in VCW, with a tremendous combination of maneuvers there. Could credit Tim Springs for kicking out, but clearly Brandon Scott is on the upside right now. The best ever, certainly a bold claim to make, but coming up later on tonight, we could be looking at two of the best ever. The current Virginia heavyweight champion, Logan Easton Leroux, the former champion, Gino Medina, who finally gets his rematch here tonight. And again, he didn't lose the title to Logan, so a lot going on here tonight in our main event. Should be a tremendous main event tonight, but I still think that the champion of the 1%, the venture grapplers, Logan Easton Leroux, is the man here in BCW, and I don't think that Gino Medina is going to take the title from him. But I think it's going to be a phenomenal match. I'm excited to see it. As Tim Spriggs trying to get to a vertical base here, he does have the size advantage over Mr. Excellence. This is not a position I'd want to be in if I was Brandon Scott. Any sort of vertical power that Tim Spriggs has is going to play to his significant advantage. You would indeed believe so. And Spriggs trying to keep the momentum rolling. And Brandon Scott puts a halt to that. There's a cover, two. And Tim Spriggs feeling what it's like to be in there with a true pro wrestling professional. Absolutely. I don't know if you noticed that, Blake. But Brandon Scott, it's his precision that always impressed me most. That's what's one of the things that's so excellent about him. That drop kick, his top foot on it, caught Tim Spriggs right under the chin, caused that whiplash effect, and almost winning the match for him. Just phenomenal stuff. And Scott trying to remain in control right now. Again, folks, still all three championship bouts tonight to be decided. The tag titles, two out of three falls. The champion's advantage match for the U.S. Liberty title, and of course, the aforementioned 
Virginia heavyweight title bout, Gino Medina and Logan Easton Larone. And look at Spriggs, reversing course with Mr. Excellence. James Spriggs with an impressive knife edge chop there, I must say. I don't think that's a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu stand, but he's clearly knows what he's doing in there as a professional wrestler as well. We saw Spriggs debut back in the spring here in BCW against Serios de la Sangre. And in that bout, Spriggs, very impressive. Again, De La Sangre, who has a little bit of a jiu-jitsu background of his own. Brandon Scott, never rolled around in a gi before, but he's been in the professional wrestling ring nearly half his life. Yeah, I mean, Brandon Scott, this is his home. This is where he's most comfortable. This is just where he belongs and why he is the best of the best. And he just knows that ring inside and out. Every trick, everything can be done. And, and that's why he is going to win this match. That's simple. Well, right now, he's looking to be on the wrong end of the offensive attack. As he puts his head down, might have been a mistake right there. And the Bushmaster looking to take control. Look at Tim Spriggs showing off the athleticism. And Spriggs takes flight. Brandon Matheny in his multiple belts here at BCW. The first time I've seen Tim Spriggs leave his feet. Yeah, that's a new one. I hadn't seen that before. That's a, that's a tough one to repair for. It's OK, though. Brandon, look, they're both down. Brandon's going to get out, take control of this match over again. But yeah, props to Tim Spriggs. That's a, that was very athletic. That was incredible. Mixing up the offensive attack there is Tim Spriggs. And if he can add more layers to his offense, we could be looking at the breakout performer of 2023 here in Virginia Championship Wrestling. Tim Spriggs has all the tools necessary. There's no question about that. It's just a matter of getting he goes the with, He goes for the judo throw, and Brandon Scott not really looking to go with him right there, but he's getting flipped all around the ring here, judo style, by the Bushmaster. Yeah, I think Scott slipped out of the first one a little bit. He was able to get away, but then it was just too much momentum on the last two, and, and impressive from Spriggs. Got Scott really disoriented. Brandon Scott needs to catch his breath and, and get his feet back under him. Spriggs says that's going to be enough. The high angle deadlift German, one, two, and Scott at two and seven, eight, slips the right shoulder up. Really amazing power from Tim Spriggs there. I'll give the man credit for that. Absolutely just raw athleticism, raw power. I mean, he's just basically one big muscle out there. And we can go back about 13 months to when Brandon Scott dropped the Virginia Heavyweight Championship. And he's been essentially trying to climb up the hill ever since. If he cannot get by Tim Spriggs tonight, he's going to face a bit of a crossroads. He is, but you know, he's uh, he's going to win tonight, so it's not going to be a big deal. It's not going to be a problem. He's going to get right back on that horse, and uh, whoever wins the champion, the match tonight, they should watch out for Brandon Scott in the future, no question. Another series of strikes by Spriggs. He's going to tie up Brandon Scott here. Looked like he was trying to apply a knee bar. And something on the ankle as well. Ankle he's going to flip him around. Ankle lock submission. Let's see if he can grapevine that leg. Scott, oh! Rolls right through and sends Tim Spriggs head first into the middle turnbuckle. Two words, Blake, ring awareness. That is the veteran right there, and it looks like he could be going for a slice of excellence. He connects. And it's over. That could do it. Ron Mills drops down, two, and no! What? Spriggs! And two and three quarters somehow slips that right shoulder up. If you look at Brandon Scott's face, it looks like he's seen a ghost. He can't, I mean, uh, this is the second match in a row that I have questioned Ron Mills counts out there. No one kicks out of the slice of excellence. That's the, the most powerful finishing maneuver in VCW. I can't believe it. He certainly could set him up now for that Scott Buster, but the slice of excellence, of course, has won him not just belts, but has won him championships in the past. Absolutely. Brandon, get it. You gotta get out of this, buddy. You gotta go. You just gotta go right now. Get up, hit something else, put him down. If I were Brandon Scott, it might be time to ascend to that top turnbuckle and look to put right in position for that Scott Buster. But right now, he appears to be wasting a bit of time. Yeah, I don't get this strategy from Brandon. I, I know the surprise on the, the, the slice of excellence not winning, but I mean, you got to get on that horse. As Scott now looks to put up a position once again. Oh, Spriggs! Rear naked choke! He catches him out of nowhere! Scott looks for the cover. He's trying to spin around. Look at Spriggs! Oh, he's able to escape right there. Tim Spriggs almost caught himself in a pinning predicament. Smart maneuvering by Brandon Scott to get out of that. Very, very impressive. That rear naked choke nearly locked in by the Mushmaster. Oh, Scott! He goes for that Scott Buster! And here comes Tim Spriggs! He catches him there into the guillotine choke! He's got him in the guillotine. Scott taps, Scott taps, Scott taps. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by guillotine choke submission, the Bush Master, Tim Spring. Spotlight so weak when I hit the scene. Over Grand Concord, I'm talking everything with the comfort. What an impressive.
impressive reversal right there by the Bushmaster. Catches Brandon Scott in that guillotine choke. Scott has nowhere to go. And the former three-time Virginia heavyweight champion just got dished out an upset right here at Tiny Dump Destruction. That's, you know, he was on the winning side in the, the, the elimination match at our prior event. Brandon Scott on a bit of a losing streak now. He needs to figure something out. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if he's, if he's having, you know, just some hard time at home or what. But, I mean, I've, I've heard it's, you know, not great, but he needs to, to get something right because things are not working. Once again, a bit of a crossroads here, but Tim Spriggs picking up all the momentum in the world. Heading into the new year right here in VCW.